Hello, this is James Daltz of James Daltz Consulting Services. I, you may know me as Jim Daltz or JD, and others may not. But I've had over 30 years of CAD experience, including the last 18 in NX, Siemens NX. Uh, today I would like to share some tips and tricks for either experienced users or inexperienced users. Maybe it might know some of them and maybe not. So I'm trying to ban the spectrum. Uh, if you like them, please subscribe to my service and please comment. <clears throat> so first of all, I'm, I'm in NX12 and if you're in NX12 or later, not before, not NX11, um, let's say your model's way out there and you want to say here, you want to say fit. That's how you do it, right? Let's say your model's way out there, but now watch here. I'm not going to hit fit. I'm going to hit my dump, my left mouse button twice. Fit. Way out there. Left mouse button. Fit. I'm not going to right click at all. So remember that. Uh, it, it's very handy. And it is a very good improvement. Not having to do one, two mouse clicks, but just... A double click in the window. Also, this is one I've seen. If you see, I have the crosshairs with a little ball in it. Uh, by default, NX brings you no crosshairs and no little uh, center ball. Uh, the way that you get those is like this. It's uh, preferences, selection, show crosshairs right here and the selection radius is a little ball in the middle you, I like it small but you can uh, medium or large and, and, and check it out how it, how it goes um, you also may want to unclick highlight with thick at width highlight hidden ed edges or highlight original those are very annoying um, in my opinion but you know you're the user not me but I love the cursor and I love it being a small ball in there because I'm so used to being able to line up my cursor with my CAD system. For example, if I set this out, I can line it up and see what's straight or not. Oh, oh how did I do that? Well, look, look, look at this. And this is for more inexperienced users, and I know the experienced users know this. But for example, right now, if NX knows the approximate location of this, but given the six or eight different uh, views, you can say top, bottom, right, left, up, down, uh, if you hit the F8 key, it will orientate the model to the nearest drafting type space approximation of the model and if I lock it in I can I can then take my cursor and say oh that's very very straight yeah and that's why I like the cursors on and I love the F8 key and a lot of inexperienced users don't know that just to orientate the model to one of the um, isometric drafting views but let's say you want to look at that model in something that is not one of those, you know, straight on top, bottom, left, right, up, down. Um, <clears throat> this is another little trick here. Now, I'm going to hit that F8 key right now, and you're going to see this is a slide within a slide. Everything here pulls out straight, but look at it. This slide comes in at an angle. It's a subslide within a slide. Now let's say I want to look right in on that because I want to check the draft on all this you know, metal saving area. Uh, so I'm going to just right click and I'm going to say here face. I'm already set for that. I'm just going to select that face. Now I hit the F8 key. And yeah, it didn't flip the model upside down. But, but look, it takes me looks right. Oh, 
um, I have to lock my my space ball and it takes me right in there and it looks me right into that slide how do I do that again I'm gonna I'm gonna escape out of that to unhighlight it I set I have my type filter set to face I'm just gonna select that face and I'm gonna hit that same F8 key I've been talking about and normally we just position the whole model in one of the drafting positions but now it knows that I want to look right into that face and I can see oh yep everything is drafted just perfectly now a lot of times I see users um, struggle to find something like the highlight if I go back I'm gonna set this from face to um, no selection they want to highlight this and they want to find it in the assembly and look at how much stuff there is in this assembly tree there is just tons of stuff it's a very big assembly and then they're like, well no I know it's an insert I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna find it right there it is right there it's a slide piece uh, so I'm gonna I'm going to there is a command which I call the binoculars but um, if I highlight this notice this command right here find in navigator I call it the binoculars but find in navigator watch when I click that going to find that and now I'm going to click I'm going to click something else here highlight that and I'm going to say find in navigator look at how far down that find it it's right there huh let's go to something very very oh there's a fitting right there find in navigator and it's going to shoot me right down there, expand the tree, and I know right where it is. So if I wanted to work on that, I could just say right click and, you know, make display part uh, thing. Uh, also, if you're in a model, I'm going to the model navigator here. Now I made that my work part. I can highlight that, and also it will find in navigator what that is. It's a link body. Uh, a little less useful, but also handy to know one thing in NX12 and beyond is they've changed the measurement command and by default if you measure something it doesn't give you the default X Y Z deltas which every Everybody, everybody wants to know, but uh, by default they said no. And you can click that on when you're doing the measurement command, and and actually remember it. But there is a way in the customer defaults here. If you file utilities, customer defaults. I'm just going to search for measurement here. Click on the first one. And by default, the display XYZ delta values will not be checked. <coughs> if you check that on, you will always get it. If you're doing a customer launch where all your customer defaults are set, you will want to set this in your customer defaults. Otherwise, NX will not provide you with those deltas unless you tell it to. And it does remember it. It does remember it after you do it, do it the first time. But as we all know, your role and everything else is constantly changing. So it's a good thing to have set as a customer default so all your users do not have to worry about it or screw with it. Pardon my 
sign language. Uh, the last thing I want to do here is, and this is what one user just recently asked me. He said this. He said, hey, if you have a drawing all set up with border title blocks and everything else, but let's say you want to add sheet two, and you say here, I have sheet one. It's all done in detail, but let's say I wanted to add another sheet. What's an easy way to do it? Because if you add a sheet, if you use you know, new sheet and uh, blah, blah, blah. You got to set all your settings and then you got to add your title block and the border and everything else. So what I said was what I tell you is go like this. Just right click on that and say copy. Or do a control C and a control V, but you know, paste. Now look at this once. Now I have two drawings in there. I gotta expand this here. Oh. A little bit more. And I got call one production one. So I may rename that. I, I can rename it whatever I want. But if I make this my drawing now, I mean my work part, I can just take this view, this view, this view, you know, this view, this view, and delete them. Now, notice I'm going to go back to my first sheet, and it's all still there. And now I can add views. I, I can get rid of all this text and everything else. I can edit, you know, uh, the sheet number here. If I had one, uh, oh, sheet number is right there. I can change that to two. And if you look back here, I double click here, and it says sheet one and sheet two. Now I can edit whatever I want here and add more views, and everything is set up exactly like the first sheet, which is what the detailer wants. He doesn't want to set this all up again. So this is a kind of a cool little tip, and the guy I showed this to said, oh, God bless America. That's a good, that's a good tip so that's why I included it today so this is my end today of um, all my tips and tricks for NX this is only part one I have part two coming but I wanted to keep it short so uh, if you enjoyed this or you learned anything please leave comments uh, and and su subscribe uh, to keep me going you know and if you need any work done I'm your guy. I can model, I can draft, I can do anything. I am a designer for 40 years, including working in a shop. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Once again, I'm James Dalsh, JD. Have a great day.